Sunday evening, a group of over 70 community members gathered to remember Wyatt Outlaw, 154 years after his lynching, at the hands of the White Brotherhood, a branch of the Ku Klux Klan. Community members gathered at the steps of the historic Alamance County Community Courthouse in Graham, where Outlaw was reported to have been hung from an elm tree 154 years ago tonight. Hung with a warning to those who would oppose the Klan, beware yea guilty both black and white, Outlaw was a staunch unionist, a successful businessman, a mixed race individual, and town constable. The extrajudicial killing occurred after he and other constables dispersed a group of night riders who were intent on intimidating the all-black constable force of Graham. Lloyd Campbell helped organize the event and said the remembrance was part of a larger project of connecting the community to these events. And so we have the soil out so the community members can interact with it, put their hands in the soil, move it to the jar, can use the trowel to move the soil. And so that helps community members to really be a part of the sacred space, which is part of our history. So the goal is to put up a plaque, spaces to be determined um, where that would be. But that's part of our job as a coalition is to figure out where that would go. Keisha and Erica Bulford, a mother-daughter pair of local lawyers who, aside from practicing law in Graham, spoke and sang at the gathering, commented on the legacy of Graham and how they feel connected to the events they came here to remember. I think especially as a black lawyer in Graham, it can be hard to come back and forth to a place where you know that so much injustice has taken place. But coming to events like this not only allows us to remember the legacy of those who came before us, but also allows us to fellowship with other folks who are like-minded and, and kind of restore my joy and my willingness to keep on going forward. It felt like, um, like we could have been a target then. Um, successful, a successful black man. We're two, what I would say, God is blessed to be successful black women. And so it seems like that was a target. The way Wade explained it at the end was that is what got him killed. And so, you know, we could have... In that time, we could have very well had been a target. So it is also a, you know, a platform for us to be reminded and be thankful of where God has brought us from. That's who we have to give glory and honor to. Wade Harrison, another local lawyer who spoke at the gathering, told us how important he thought it was for people to know this piece of local history. We've done it now for four years, and every year we get more people here, we get different people here, and we're just trying to get the history out because it's a compelling story. And uh, it's something that we all ought to know, we ought to remember it, and it ought to inspire us to do good things. Story of the Outlaw and the work of the Alamance County Remembrance Coalition. Visit elonnewsnetwork.com or visit their website, alamanceremembrancecoalition.com.